What's going on YouTubers? Gadang 775 I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about a couple things, uh, mostly about Xbox. You know I'm an Xbox fanboy, but I try to be open-minded about things. And first off, I want to talk about Jim Ryan's comments of Sony PS4 exec about saying people don't want to play old backwards games, you know, older games on their newer consoles. Which is part true, you know, mostly true, but there are others, a few of us, I say there's more than a few. Because Xbox, Microsoft, they did their own survey, um, their own testing into how many people play Xbox backwards compatible games. And Phil Spencer came out and said 51%, this was a few months ago, 51% of Xbox Live members have dabbled in backwards compatibility games. So, dabble can mean anywhere between, you know, one minute to a hundred hours. So, you never know. And I myself like to go back and play my older backwards compat games, especially hits like hmm, Lost Odyssey, Red Dead, Fallout, uh, let's see what else. Oblivion. I mean, there's so many backwards compat games out there. I got Call of Duty, um, Black Ops 1 and 2 loaded onto my Xbox, Fallout, Fallout 3 loaded onto my Xbox. There's a crap ton of games out there on the Xbox One. And I think this E3, um, Microsoft is going to release a, a list of back compat games and original Xbox games that will be coming via backwards compatibility to the back, um, backwards compatibility program at E3. They're going to re release a list. That's my, I have a gut feeling they're going to do that because they're the only ones that are doing this and if Microsoft, they own this backwards compatibility thing because Nintendo Switch, they can't do it. PS4, not PS4, they got some type, some version of it, but it's not really the best way. I mean, sure, they remaster titles and you have to buy them again, which is great, but... <sighs> If you already have them in stock, you know, I can understand the older PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games remastering those, but your PlayStation 3 games, I mean, I had a bunch of these games lying around. I mean, look, the Mass Effect, original Mass Effect. I had a bunch of these Xbox 360 games still lying around, and they're still there waiting to become backwards compatible, backwards compatible like my Tales of Vesperia. I'm hoping that's coming and speaking of older games okay i'm going more back into the past but original dreamcast games will be coming to the xbox one via um dreamcast emulator now in order to get those games onto your xbox one s you're gonna have to sideload the app from windows 10 and i'll do a video on that coming when the dreamcast app does release i'll do a video on how to do that to get you know play Dreamcast emulator on your Xbox One. So stay tuned for that video. I I don't know when they're releasing that. I forgot the exact date. I'll probably leave the date down below. And, and as soon as it releases and I get it get it side loaded, I'll release I'll release a little video about it how to do it. So we um stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, that was my quick little thing about you know backwards compat games. I think backwards compat is the, one of the best things out there Microsoft has offered. Now it would be nice to have a ton of new first, pi first party IPs coming out. You know, because it would be nice, you know, Microsoft since Sony um, pretty much locked down, pretty much all the AAA exclusive lockdown, yeah, all the AAA extra stuff. Now, PlayStation, um, Xbox people are still going to get those games. Um, and if you get a Scorpio, those are going to be the best places to play those versions of those games. You know, like Redemption, uh, Destiny 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, Far Cry 5. I'm pretty sure they're going to play a lot better on the Xbox Scorpio than the PS4 Pro and <laughs> the Switch. <laughs> the Switch. But, um, you got developer, um, this guy from Windows 10 Central. I forgot his name. Oh my gosh, I feel horrible. Even said the editor now. This guy is pretty much on the ball when it comes to uh, Microsoft related things. That Star Wars Battlefront 2 is gonna run 4K 60 on the Scorpio. So that's that's a big deal right there. A lot of PCs can't can't do that right now. Um, my PC, my GTX 1080, it it's it struggles 4K 60. It doesn't even reach that sometimes. So um, I think. The Scorpio is going to be a hit, and it's going to surprise a lot of people, but yeah, that's my little thing about Microsoft. I wanted to get off my chest. I wanted to talk about a few things, but yeah, if you like this video, if you 
go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days if you didn't like this video hit that dislike button let me know in the comments down below i do appreciate that criticism skedang 775 thanks for watching peace out